attention to the deep state tonight. Disgrace. Former FBI lawyer Lisa Page, she has been subpoenaed to appear before a closed door session in the House of Representatives tomorrow. And sources are telling Fox News tonight she does plan to comply with that subpoena, although I guess anything can happen. We'll keep you posted on everything we learn from that hearing. Also, this week, Page's one-time boyfriend, Trump-hating FBI agent at the center of it all, Peter Strzok, will testify in public this Thursday before the House Judiciary and Oversight Committees. This could be one of the most contentious hearings in years. We will be covering that. And according to a brand new report tonight from John Solomon, the FBI was reportedly in possession of, get this, three different versions of the now infamous dirty dossier that Clinton bought and paid for phony debunked op research based on Russian lies put together by a foreign national. Now, we know this phony dossier was used as the basis for the initial investigation into the Trump-Russia collusion witch hunt, and it was the bulk of information to get a FISA warrant, not once, but four times. Rod Rosenstein signed the last one. John Solomon will be here tonight with a report. Also, we're learning that the Lieutenant General Michael Flynn's sentencing hearing has now mysteriously been delayed again. What it is another bizarre move by Robert Mueller's witch hunt. And meanwhile, Flynn is now pleading for his case to be wrapped up. And according to a report from our own Sarah Carter, Mueller's so-called pit bull, Andrew Weissman, may have actually leaked details surrounding Mueller's investigation to the Associated Press. That is a problem. You're not allowed to do that. And as we speak, Paul Manafort, not convicted of a thing, is sitting 23 hours a day in solitary confinement in a federal prison over a 2005 tax case. And breaking this week, we have more news from the House Intel Committee Chairman Devin Nunes, and he is now calling for a probe of 42 Obama-era officials to determine the role that they played in targeting the Trump campaign to influence our election. We'll have more on this in a moment. First, joining us now to reaction to all the breaking news, the author of the book, Why We Fight, Fox News, national security strategist, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, NRA, TV contributor, Dan Bongino. Um, let's go to the hysteria. The fact that we actually have the left, X, X, fill in the blank, we're gonna use the same words no matter who Donald Trump picks, is pretty revealing, but it's also 101 of the Democratic Party. Smear, besmirch, slander, lie, racist, sexist, misogynist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, dirty air, water, kill children and grandma. It's all the same, Dr. Gorka. We never get any variation of that theme. No, we don't. And the really incredible thing is that there isn't one indication amongst anybody on the left that they really understand that this is bad for them. But let them continue to do so. There's no realization that this does not play well outside the bubble. This, this is great in Hollywood. This is great in New York. This is great in you know the DNC's cocktail parties in Georgetown. But it doesn't resonate with the American people. They have a narrative which is ideologically driven. And whatever the president does, they will attack him. And sooner or later, uh, this will bear certain political consequences for them. My concern is that they're upping the ante on the things that are truly undemocratic. Uh, yes, they'll smear us. They smear you, me, whoever they pick it, to be the next uh, associate justice. But the issue is when it comes to harassment and the use of violence. There's no equivalent of Antifa on the right. Doesn't exist. Does and, not exist. And the, there's no story of. Yeah, I don't mean to interrupt. There's Dr. no story. There's the, no. There's no story like James Hodgkinson at the baseball diamond just a few miles from where I'm sitting. We, you, you don't have de Republicans go out with a hit list trying to kill Democrat congressmen. Guess which side that happens on? It happens mm -hmm. on the left. I don't see any ideas from the left for this election except. We know what it is. Open borders, keep Obamacare. They want their crumbs back. They want to impeach Trump and they don't want the president to get the Supreme Court nominee he wants. Dan, can you name a single thing that they are putting forward that helps the American people? Because I'm not hearing one single thing except oppose, oppose, oppose. Yeah. No, and I'm glad you brought this up. 
You know, Sean, Trump is dunking on the left and the media on a daily basis now, and they've gone from derangement now to sheer panic. And here's why. It's because of what you just said, precisely because of it. The left doesn't have an agenda, Sean. There is absolutely no popular mandate for enormous government, high taxes, government-controlled health care, and complete government control of education. There is zero popular mandate for that. Why does this Supreme Court thing matter? and Why have they now adjusted to their new outrage campaign? Because, Sean, they can't legislate. They have to legislate from the bench where they only have to convince one person. Who? A judge. Because they can't convince the American people that this crap That's... agenda they have is real. Remember, liberalism stinks for liberals, too. Don't forget that, Sean. It's amazing because what they can't get done at the ballot box because the American people would never buy it, Dr. Gorka, and, and I think Dan Bongino's right, or what they could never get done legislatively without blowing up their careers, they try to use the courts for. A real judge respects that the legislative branch has their job, and their job is to take the exact text and the Constitution's exact text and see where the line is. It's not their job to legislate. No, but, but Dan's point is incredibly important. And it's not just using activists in, you know, the Ninth Circus Court or wherever. It, it, it is, you know, that's, that's their short circuit to get what they want. But it's also the intimidation, the harassment. I think, you know, Pruitt's resignation is yeah. also a function of they don't have a mandate, they don't have an agenda. But that's why it's so important what Kavanaugh said last night. He only made two substantive statements. He talked about the, the women in his life, his inspiration. But he only said two things. Judges don't legislate and a SCOTUS judge you, interprets the Constitution. You know, I'll give you the last word, uh, Dan Bongino. It's very, very obvious how the left is now speaks with one voice. That's why those six senators, they have told the line of Chuck Schumer, not their constituents. Sean, they, they think like the Borg in Star Trek. They think with a hive mind. They're not independent entrepreneurs like conservatives. And that's why this attack strategy sometimes works for them. They think with a hive mind. They're not independent. Really well said, both of you. All right. Thank you both.